Today you will learn how to use Excel on your iPhone. That is the mobile version. A few days ago, I walked you through on how you can use Excel on your laptop. Okay, that is the desktop version. And also how you can still complete the same task on the web. All right. So follow me as I walk you through on how you can easily complete virtually all the tasks you can do on the web and the desktop on your mobile so let's get started i am on my iphone home screen so still be on your own iphone home screen so that you follow along okay it's a practical class so tap on the app store for you to install excel so i'll search for excel as the Excel shows up in the search results, tap on install icon, okay? After the installation of the mobile app, tap open to open the application. Then tap get started. You say don't miss anything. Get notification when someone shares a workbook or collaborates with you. You can turn it on. Or turn it off or ignore okay so here let me just ignore not now this is the first interface you will see it's a get Microsoft 365 personal that is the monthly subscription of Microsoft 365 which contains Excel inside for the mobile version I don't want that so let me use the free version in this tutorial so I have the um, I have the subscription based version on my laptop so I don't need that in the mobile version so I'll tap on close okay you see but wait before you go I don't want that try later okay all right once you open the mobile app fully this is the first interface you will see here is a blank template the first one and these other ones are pre-designed templates if for example you want to create family budget you can go with the family budget option if you want to create an excel workbook that has to do with credit card payoff you go with this one okay so they have so many templates but most of the time you'll be using the black workbook so let's work with the one blank workbook so i'll tap on it for it to open as the blank workbook opens, just as you can see right now, the first cell is selected, which is cell A1. Okay? But you cannot type there at that moment unless you tap once on that cell or double tap for your keyboard keys to show up. Okay? But let me explain some terms first. All these bosses are all known as cell. The summation of them makes the spreadsheet okay the cells that are arranged vertically in order which is for example in this line of a is known as the column this vertical arrangement so you can call this column a you can call this column b you can call this column C all right then the cells that are arranged horizontally in order are known as the row for example you have row 1 you have row 2 you have row 3 so vertical arrangement column horizontal arrangements rows the intersection of the rows and the columns create what you call the cells okay all right, let's now enter data in our cell. For you to enter data in any of the cells, tap on one, one of them, okay? If you tap and the column is selected, you can tap out, okay? And then return again. You can see that, okay? So here the first cell is selected. And in this tutorial, I want to create a sheet containing students information let's assume that godwin tech has students he teaches 
or he coaches on a particular area and i want to have their basic information okay so as the first cell is selected my keyboard has not been activated so i will double tap so i will double tap on that first cell okay good as i double tap on the first cell the keyboard of my iphone has now been activated so i can type the data i want to have in it so here i want to have this as students information so i'm creating the heading of this spreadsheet okay so as you tap the keys of your iphone they reflect in this spreadsheet so student information is now created being the basic title all right so after that i will tap on this um, mark sign or good sign tick sign so you can see it has been saved okay now the student information i want to have is the first name and the last name of the students all right their age is still necessary so i will create that so under the main title which is student information i will tap on the cell a2 all right then as the cell is selected i will double tap on it again so this is first name i want to have all right i have typed the first name data so i want to type the last name in cell b2 this cell name is gotten from the combination of the column number from the combination of the column letter and the row number okay you can see this is this is a2 because it appears in column in column a and row 2 all right so the next is going to be b2 which appears in column b and row 2 so for me to type my data in that b2 i will click out that means i will tap on a cell that is far from that section okay so i'll tap on this and then i'll return by tapping on the b2 you can see it has been selected so i will then type the data i want to have in it and that is last name after that i'll click out again then cell c2 i want to have age there all right that is the age of the students okay then i will tap out or tap the good button anyone the data will be saved okay so let me tap on the good button okay okay now we have see we have our information but this major title students information needs to be made bold so that it will be separated from the rest of the contents i get in it so students information needs to be made bold the first name need to be made the board, the last name need to be made board, and the age need to be made board. All right. So, students' information selection first. So, let me select that cell and then drag. Okay. You know, it costs across three different cells. So, once the selection is done, tap on the three dots at the bottom right. Okay. At the bottom right you can see these three dots here good now under it you can see bold you can see italicized you can see underline you can see strike through all these are commands on the home page on the home tab sorry on the home tab just as we have in the desktop version so because our interest is to make that information bold tap on bold all right which is b you can see students information is now made Bold, meaning that this is the title of this spreadsheet all right now first name tap make bold last name tap make bold age tap make bold all right so we have formatted the test properly okay there's something i want to highlight on if you look at you see that this first name the last name 
data that's the information are not showing up clearly in respect to that we need to extend the cell okay for us to extend the cell select the cell you want to extend or you can select the column containing the cell then drag okay so i'm dragging towards the right now and is expanding good you can see now i've seen the first name information clearly all right the same applies in the last name so i will tap on the column letter which is b all right and that is selected then i will, I will place my finger there and then drag until everything is okay last name is made clearly okay you can see last name clearly okay then age is cool so we don't need to change any information in the age i want us to save this information before we continue so we need to save this spreadsheet okay for you to save this spreadsheet tap on the three dots at the top right okay so you can see the three dots here so i'll tap on it then select the save option my iphone opens and the name book is selected automatically so in the name section we need to assign a name to this file okay so let me call it my students okay now under storage you can see one drive you can see my phone you can see files out i want to save this file locally so it's going to be inside my phone so select the on my iphone section on my iphone okay then this opens the iphone storage okay so i will just click on save if you want to locate this file we have saved it locally if you want to locate this file get to the home screen of your iphone get to my files okay then i'll go back because then i selected then we will then get to where this file is so let's check on excel because anytime you download certain apps on your iphone a folder is created for that app automatically i get in it so let's check the excel option you can see the file there it's inside the excel folder that is my students so let's get back and continue from what we are doing okay okay i have these subheadings first name last name and age and here i want to add a new subheading called score okay where we enter the score of each of the students so i'll tap the cell okay and then double tap again and type the name so after that i'll tap the good icon and then tap here and then make it bold okay okay now let's now start entering the information of the students starting from the first name last name age and score so my first student let me give her rose last name jones age 18 score 58 no let me give her a score of 75 okay this score supposed to be in percent that is the score subheading so i will double tap on it and then introduce the percent sign sign okay so let me locate where the percent is on my keyboard okay all right so i'll close the bracket good everything is now set okay so i will fill the rest of this information the rest of the students information which after we continue other tasks we can perform on SL mobile okay after typing some information in different cells you may like to edit the data okay for you to edit a data or any information you have in excel double tap on excel okay once you double tap you can then enter any information you want to have there then for example i want to have johnson instead of john okay see the information has changed okay okay then for example you want to delete a data 
for you to delete any information you have in excel first select the cell okay if the keyboard is activated just press the backspace key okay and everything will be wiped are you getting that so let me undo that but if the keyboard is not activated maybe you are like this maybe you select the cell and the keyboard is not activated i want to delete the information so what you need to do is to double tap okay double tap on the cell for you to see the keyboard you can then gradually erase the information in it okay so these are just the ways you can edit data in excel let's talk about deleting of cells okay if for example you don't want this column c again okay you can select the column once you tap on the column letter everything will be selected okay tap on the three dots at the bottom right then you will see some information some commands under the home tab okay just as you can see on the screen now then scroll to the section that allow you to delete the information that's to delete the column in this case so for you to do that tap on insert and delete okay under insert and delete you will see some information there and one of them is insert column okay and other information and other available options with our interest is on deletion of this column so select the delete columns option and you can see that column is deleted and then adjusted properly okay the one that follows it adjust to its usual position okay so let me undo that action by tapping on the undo button okay we have our information back okay then you can also delete row for you to delete a row tap on the row number let's say you made a mistake so tap on the row number the line of ever gems okay once that is selected you will be in this state at that point you'll be you'll have your spreadsheet look like this so tap on the three dots at the bottom right then select the option of insert and delete okay then you can see delete rules are one of the options so tap on that option and you can see that row is gone but here we still need the information so let me undo it good okay let's talk about the tabs in excel mobile just as we have in the web version there are some tabs in excel mobile for you to see the tabs tap on the three dots at the bottom right then you can see this home option that means that we are already on the home tab for you to switch to another tab or see the other tabs that made up the excel mobile version tap on the home you can see insert you can see draw you can see formulas you can see data you can see review you can see view just as we have it in the desktop version so everything is complete before we continue i want to highlight on something any data you enter in excel after you are first saving of that data locally is saved automatically if you look at this interface you'll find that there is no space for you to tap save button just as we have in the desktop version so once you save that information the file first which we have done other data you enter there are saved automatically okay so let's proceed let's go and check on other tabs and know the actions or the tasks we can complete through them so for us to access tabs tap on the three dots at the bottom right then tap on home let's select insert the insert tab contains some commands or ribbons that can allow us to insert some objects okay take for example we want to insert a photo here tap on the photos option and then this opens the gallery of my iphone 
so i can select any of these images i have here okay so let's say i want to go with any of these new any of these first ones so i'll tap on this and then tap add you can see a photo has been inserted so i can drag it to any space i want to have it maybe it's a logo i want to have logo in this Excel spreadsheet so i can position it strategically to where i want to have it okay but we don't have any need for this so let me undo the action let's now get back to the insert tab again and then see what else we can do we can insert chart okay in excel through this insert tab okay but before then i want us to create a chart that displays these students and their scores okay so for us to represent that i think we need to edit this information and remove the column for age okay so let me close this then tap on this column and then tap the three dots select the home tab here we are doing this because i want us to remove this column first okay so let's get to the area for a certain delete then delete column okay good so we now have an information that will allow us to create charts okay with this information here so first i have to select the information i want us to plot in a chart so I'll select this all right so after that selection i'll tap on this home tab and select insert okay under the insert one of the options here is charts so we want to plot charts here so i'll tap on charts okay we have list of options we have column chart we have line chart we have pie chart i think this will be best represented in a column chart so let's go with the column chart option it will show us some categories so let's go with the first category and see what we get so this first category has re represented the information but i have to minimize this so that you can see everything okay so this is the score of each of the students represented in a column chart okay so let me drag it down all right from this chart now you can see that the longest chart here is the one belonging to james ever that is the longest column here in the chart and it's true from our data you can see that ever james scored a total score of 100 okay so the chart is properly represented so if you want to create some other charts maybe pie chart line chart you know that you have the tool for the creation in the insert tab so once you select the insert tab go ahead and select charts and choose any chart of your choice okay okay let's switch to another tab and for us to do that tap on insert and select draw okay draw allows you to draw any object or anything you want to have in your excel no this does not have any much application on the spreadsheet so let's not take our time here and go to another tab okay so tap on draw and select another tab so let's go with formulas okay formulas is very important useful tab in excel all right so you can use it to carry out some calculations take for example i want to sum the ages of these students i can use the formula tab the command in the formula tab to do that so let's start so let me select all these um, values in the age section okay after the selection we are already in the formula tab so tap on auto sum okay we want to sum everything then select sum you can see this shows that the summation of all the ages is 61 all right so let's undo that all right so let's assume under this auto sum let's carry out some other tasks there so i'll tap on auto sum let's say i want to find the average age i've already selected the edges then i'll tap on average okay you can see the average age here is 17.889 all right 
So let me undo that for us to carry out another calculation. Okay. We tap on auto sum again after the selection. Then let's find out the count numbers. That is the number of times numbers appear in this our selection. So I will tap on count numbers. And here it's telling us that numbers appears nine times. 18, 17, 19, 19, 18, 18, 17, 16, 19. They appear nine times. That is the number of times number appears there. Okay. So let's undo. Okay. Already selected. So let's get to auto sum again. And then let's find the maximum value. We may not know the maximum value here. So the mass function helps us to find that. So select mass. And here the mass function has returned that the maximum age is 19 in this our selection okay so undo okay so let me go to the score column and select everything the numbers there we want to use this one to find the minimum score all right so after the selection as usual we're already on the formula tab and then tap on auto sum and let's find the minimum which stands which is assign mean m i n in this um excel so let's tap on that so what this is telling us it returns to us is 65 meaning that the minimum score of the students in this recording is 65 and the person that scored that minimum score is godwin francis okay so the student need to buckle up so have high score okay okay let's now switch to another tab for you to do that tap on formulas and then select data okay that's the next tab here okay the data tab allows us to perform a number of uh, functions so for example you want to sort ascending and sort descending or filter this you can do through the data tab okay so let's now select these names in the first column a select all the information okay so after that Let's say we want to sort ascending. Tap on sort ascending. You can see it has informed us that Anne comes first before Eva, before Godwin, before Juliet, before Kevin, before Mike. This is sorted in alphabetical order. So let's undo it. Okay, it has returned back to normal. So let's say we want to sort descending. Tap the sort descending option. So it starts sorting from Vivian, Rose, Peter, and down to and so let's undo the action all right so let's see what we can do under the next tab so we tap on data and select review okay review allow us to leave comments or show comments in our spreadsheet say for example i want to leave comments on the score of 100 which is ever james okay maybe i want to say okay this student scores the highest so i'll tap on that cell for it to be selected then i'll select comments all right, here I will say, okay, this student scores this highest. Okay, just leave a comment of your choice. After that, tap on post. Okay, you can see whenever I'm forwarding this file to somebody, um, once he sees this, you know that once he sees this, gets to this score of 100, he will know that there's a comment there and he will click to read the content of the comment. Okay, so once he click, you click, the, the information will display that this is the best students in the class at that point in time okay okay let's see what we can do with the last tab made available in excel mobile on iphone okay so to so switch to another tab tap on the three dots at the bottom right as you draw then here we stopped at review previously so tap on that and select view view is the last tab okay the first command under the view tab is switch sheet view so from here you can select this option to switch to another view of the spreadsheet okay we have a default selection so no need of switching it over to another one so let's go back all right so the other um command that we can work with at this point which is made available for free users okay is new this new allow you to give your excel spreadsheet a new look okay so let's click on that for you to see 
how this spreadsheet will look like. You can see now the column um, letters and the rows have a different color at this point. But I don't like that. Let's undo it, okay? Good. All right. The next options here are formula bar, guide lines, and headlines. Which what this indicates is that these options are turned on. Formula bar is turned on, and that is why anytime we type a formula or type data, you see it under the session with the text. Enter text or formula here, okay? Then guidelines. It's turned on already because the guy doesn't want to do as well. Then headings are enabled. Then sheet right to left is not enabled. No need. Okay. So another command under this view tab is zoom in. So it allows us to zoom in our spreadsheet. So if I tap on this, you can see that this spreadsheet has been made bigger. If I tap again, it has been made bigger. If I tap again, it has been made bigger. So the number of times you tap on it is dependent on how big the spreadsheet will be made for us to see everything more clearly, okay? Then the zoom out allows you to zoom out. So I think we tap again. No, let's zoom in a little. Okay, so let's zoom out, okay? So with this, I like the way it is looking at this point and we can work with this, all right? So let me not undo it. Freeze panes allows us to freeze the panes we have in this Excel. Freeze top row allows you to freeze the top row so that it cannot be edited. Then freeze first column allows you to freeze the first column of your spreadsheet. Okay, we don't want to apply that at this moment. So let's forget about this, okay? Okay, there's another thing I want us to do here under calculations. Sorry, we are going back to calculations again. So I want us to see another way we can make some calculations here without using the pre-integrated function okay predefined function so here let's say i want to sum the values using my own formula let's say i want to sum the some values here maybe the value count of 18 17 19 okay how do we do that tap on the cell where you want this value the result for the summation to be assigned okay then double tap for you to be able to edit something then introduce equals equals sign okay so here is equal sign then you can type the value or select the cells where those values are so this is cell c3 that has been introduced then introduce plus sign they say i want to sum this other one that follows it that's been introduced c4 then introduce plus sign then let's say i want to sum add 19 which is c5 then after that tap on the return key okay you can see it have returned 56 54 for us which means that the summation of these three numbers gives us a result of 54 so let me delete that okay what if you want to do some multiplications how do you do that you want to multiply some values here the first three values in the score section okay so what i need to do as you just introduce the equal sign okay then tap on where the value appears this is d3 then use this star sign that stands for a multiplication sign please it's not x letter okay it's not letter x then tap on the next cell where the value appears then introduce your multiplication sign then tap on the next cell where the value you want to multiply appears as well then after that you can tap the return key to get your result you can see this is 514,500 in multiplication of the three values okay so let's delete it and then perform another task okay now let's perform division let's say i want to divide the value of 100 by 90 as you draw first introduce the equal sign then select the value where the value appears in the spreadsheet okay then introduce the division sign 
Okay, let me get to my keyboard to know where this division sign appears here. Okay, see the division sign here, so I will tap on it. Okay, then I want to divide by 90, so I will tap on the cell. And after that, tap the return key. You can see the division of 100 by 90 gives you 1.1111. All right? So it's as simple as that on further calculations on Excel. All right, let's assume I'm done with what I want to create and I want to send this spreadsheet to someone's email, okay, or to someone's social media platform. I can do that right from the iPhone, okay? For you to do that, for you to send this Excel spreadsheet, tap on the three dots at the top right, okay? Then select the option, send a copy okay okay here you can see the name of the file my students then you can see some applications that are already installed on my device that i can share this file to okay and you can see the copy option if i want to copy it and go and then paste it as file to somebody's whatsapp or any other platform i can do that so once the person gets the link he can open it and see the content i can share as pdf okay maybe i don't want it to be shared as this excel format in excel format you can select the option to share as pdf all right and the information will get to the person as well so but here let me just share through mail so i'll select gmail i have gmail app already installed on this iphone okay in the two sections type the email address of the person you are sending to so customers base to at gmail.com all right so in the subject area i can have it as students information okay in the composed email section i can detail out the content of this file okay okay here it says this is the information of the students in my academy please make use of it okay so after that tap on the send button the send button is the arrow that points towards your right and done the information is being sent to the email address okay let me walk you through on how you can export a cell spreadsheet okay as pdf all right so after you have finished typing you can export that as pdf and save it in your phone as well for you to do that tap on these three dots at the top right select export select open document sheet that is ods or pdf here we want to work with pdf but if you want to go with ods no problem okay go with that so but let me work with pdf i'll select pdf all right it shows us how this will be exported tap next okay here i want to save it in my iphone so i'll select the option on my iphone okay but you can decide to save it in a OneDrive or cloud if you have cloud already existing on your iPhone, okay? So here I want to save on my iPhone. All right, you can decide to leave the name as it is because here you're saving in PDF format. Are you getting it? So it will not replace the initial Excel format. We save the information, the file at the beginning of this station, okay? So let me tap export. This is exporting. Okay, now this file has been exported as PDF, that is saved as PDF in our phone. So here I have the Excel format and I have the PDF format. So I can use any one I want to use, okay? You can also print Excel file directly from your iPhone, all right? For you to do that, tap these three dots at the top right as you draw, then select the print option and follow the on-screen guide, okay? At the end, this file will be sent to your printer and it's going to be printed out just like that. I hope this card helps. Please, if it does, consider subscribing so that whenever I publish any video on technology, you will get notification on that and come and learn more. You need to grow in knowledge because everything revolves around tech these days. Please like this video so that it will go viral and leave a comment. See you next time.